do now already prepared for tomorrow so I'm excited about that we are still watching the Odyssey and it is going very slow <laughs> um, and but the kids a lot I would say most of the kids are really getting into it and then they get upset every time I stop the video and we talk about it but I'm like you know this is why one guy was like where can I find this on YouTube kids seems like don't stop it I was like but there's very important elements that we need to talk about <laughs> they're so cute um there was an incident <clears throat> and this this will be graded rice and you know so it was some a few unruly not really unruly just they wanted to talk and i was like no it's class time and i you know so i emailed um the ap i was like you know you know can you talk to them then after i reflected on it i said no because let me tell you as a teacher once you give up your power to someone else to handle your situation you lose your kids once you give up your power to someone else to handle your situation you lose your kids so i was like nope i said nope don't even say anything to anybody this so it's like it's my battle to deal with because if you give if i give my battle to someone else to deal with in the classroom then it's like I'm giving up my power. So as a teacher, um, you have to control your class. And sometimes some classes are more difficult than others, but don't give up and don't, I mean, like if it's just totally out of control, you need help, do what you have to do. But once you give your power up to um, someone else, as soon as that person leaves, your class is going back to the way it was before. So I remember when I was at the behavior school, we have one teacher, he would call on the behavior staff almost daily. No, it was daily. And, but as soon as the behavior staff left, sometimes they would have to sit in um, that person's room. So he had no control, he, he gave up his power. And, and then also as a teacher, sometimes if you have some difficult students, there are some days I be like, I just don't feel like it today. I'm like, I, I, I just, I just can't today. But anyway, so I just wanted to leave that note. You, you, if you cannot control your class, you got to find a way to do it on your own or you giving up your power. I mean, like if it's totally out of control, it's out of control. But, um, today is a brand new day and I tackle every day as a brand new day, like a fresh start. Um, the assistant principal we were leaving she was like why are you always smiling i was like you know why not you know yes i do have my own little problems my own little struggles but it's unfair for me to take my problems out on other people that's unfair so i come in every day and i live my best life with these kids and i live up to my name joy my first name joy so why should i be upset and be a grumpy old lady you know to the students and it's another thing too sometimes um i don't want to be the mean teacher i, I just don't want to <laughs> so if i'm the sucker teacher i'm the sucker teacher i mean there's still a level of respect that the kids give me because i give them respect i show them kindness and love so it's i would say for the most part it's 98 percent reciprocated I get that and I receive that back. You know, I don't feel a need, I, I don't like it, you know, cause there's some teachers who are very stern, boop, 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 and it works for them. And some kids need that, but it's not my personality. You know, so, hmm, once in a blue moon, I'll raise my voice, but for the most part, I don't have to too much. If, if they're a little chatty, I give them their, their moment or two to be chatty. But then when it's time to gather my class back, now it's my time. You had your time. So I give them their time and their freedom as well. So um, I am going to attempt to make a timeline of the Odyssey. Because there's so many characters and there's so many obstacles that um, the protagonist um, goes through throughout the story so just to keep track of that so I'm still trying to figure out a creative way to do the whole back wall so and still make it festive because we only have about 25 days left to school nope 
We're still doing it. We're still doing it. We're still putting stuff up on the walls. Yes, we are. It's not over until it's over. So, I'm excited about that. And then my daughter um, has basketball this weekend in another city. So, I'm in Houston. She's playing basketball in Dallas. So, fun, fun, fun. Well, now that my day is over, I am about to go into Hobby Lobby. So, the day in the great, well, I guess. Um, so what I did was my 30 minute class. So we watch CNN student news and I make it into a competition. Now that's the thing of intrinsic rewards and uh, extrinsic, but I, all the Easter stuff is on sale. So I went and picked up um, two chocolate bunnies. They were 50 cents each. So the person who could uh, pick out the best main uh, main ideas and details from CNN student news and he could report it back to the class So then before they get started reporting live CNN student news we have you know Jill <laughs> So and the kids let me tell you they were writing so we had three Winners so I had three little items I got from Easter and then um, The other people who participated because 30 minutes they know it's not a great But it's still my class So that's my way and a lot of teachers struggle with that 30 minute block because they're waiting to go to lunch So I was like no I got to come up with something creative and the kids actually love it and we all learned something from the activity so today was great when they saw those chocolate bunnies honey those pencils were going child so they really had a good time with that and I, I don't know the, the kids just love coming to my class they gravitate to miss basil <laughs> and, and it's just fine with me right and so one girl she was like miss basil we came up with a name for you we have a name for you and i was like a name for me what, what kind of name and she was like well since you call us the pretty girls because <laughs> every time i see you know little black girls i say hey pretty girl you know you know sometimes um kids or we don't hear that enough and you know they are all beautiful so every time i see them hey pretty girls you know so everybody's a pretty girl and then she's like well we came up with a name for you i was like what name did you come why did you come up with that because i didn't understand she was like well you call us you know the pretty girl so we came up with a name for you we're gonna call you um beautiful black queen i said oh i'm bbq honey i'm bbq <laughs> she's like yes <laughs> she's so sweet and so, um, end of the day, kids coming to my class, they were waiting for dismissal. Child, if my door is open, child, they coming, 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 coming. <laughs> so I was like, no, we gotta close the door. And um, they just love coming into my, I haven't done anything to the room, you know, my, my real room that I can flip and decorate. I haven't done it. I haven't even done 5% of what I'm capable of. And they come inside, I like your class. Um, I like it. I said, but you're not even in my class. I'm not even your teacher. He said, I don't know. Your class is fun. I was like, how you know? He said, because my brother, my twin brother is in your class, miss. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> he said, yeah, I was watching your videos. <laughs> so, um, so that was that was pretty funny too. But they all love coming and I just let them come, especially if it's the end of the day. So, um, but that's a, a great filler if you need something to do. So they're getting their current current events, they're getting a little bit of history, they um learning how to do annotations on note taking for um summer summarization so it's a great great activity if you see in and student news in that kind of way and then i make it fun i buy and then i'll buy a big bag of um jolly ranchers um nine dollar bag i mean it's huge and then you know for the ones who participate and deserved it they'll get a piece of candy not a big deal and you know so since it's so we have about 25 more days left of school and hey we we do what we can to keep the kids engaged and they are totally loving the odyssey so i'm excited about that i'm learning a lot about the odyssey 
so it was a good day so tomorrow is thursday i had to drop sydney off to church i'm running to hobby lobby to give me some chalk and then i have to pick sydney up i have to make dinner thank god bobby my other daughter she got a ride to basketball i zoned out yesterday because i took her to basketball yesterday too and it's a it's a little drive I totally zoned out and drove eight miles, eight and a half miles past my exit. What kind of mess is that? So it's because I didn't have my GPS. It was just, there was no sound on my GPS. So the GPS was gone, but I can't hear it. And usually when I use GPS, I use it by sound. And the sound was off and I zoned out. I was into my own head, into my own thoughts and memories and stuff like that. Eight and a half miles later, I had to make a U-turn, child. That's some serious thinking right there. <laughs> All right, till next time, I'll catch you later.